We're doing the rear brakes on the 2000 Volkswagen Golf. First off, we're going to put the wrench on the back bolt on the slider and then the wrench to keep it from moving. When you have the wrench and socket in place, loosen the bolt. Okay. Now that we got the top slider bolt loosened up, we're going to now go to the bottom one and it's the same process. Putting the socket here and the wrench on the other side, if I can get it in there. And then, if I don't strip it, or, thank you, you can turn it off. And loosen it all up. Now that we've got both the slider bolts loosened up, we're just going to pop the caliper off and get it off to the side. Now that we got the caliper off, um, you want to make sure to, or it's good practice to tie off the caliper to somewhere to relieve pressure from the brake lines. Now that we got the caliper tied off and out of the way, there are two bolts on the back to release the caliper mount, and it's here and here, and we're going to use an 8 millimeter um, Allen key. Now that we have the caliper off, we're going to pop this um, brake pad off. When a regular Phillips screwdriver doesn't work, use an impact screwdriver. Now you're going to take the rotor off. This specific, is it okay. this specific um, brake caliper has the parking brake built right in. Um, and you'll need a special tool that you can pick up at any automotive uh, store. You, got, you want to find the brake catch and then you want to attach it to your ratchet. And as you're... Uh, you want to push in and spin clockwise. Now that we got the piston pushed back, you want to make sure these two notches line up with this cut outer hole. So we got a new router here. Um, and you want to spray brake clean on the router to get the polish off that they have coming out of the factory. After spraying brake clean on the front and the back, you also want to make sure you're giving it a good wipe. Now that we got the rotor all cleaned up and wiped off, you want to match this hole to the one right here because there's got to, there's going to be a screw going through it to hold the router in place. Um, this is the caliper holder, um, and then there are these little clips right here that we gonna you're gonna have to take off to replace, and they should come with the new pads. We replaced we took out the clips and replaced the new ones. So now you want to take a wire brush to the outside and get rid of a lot of the rust of off the bracket. We're done with the wire brush and now you want to make, you want to make a good habit of checking your sliders to make sure they got full movement and um, They both have full movement, so we're good. we got the pads. We want to push, uh, put never seize all the way around, so then it has free movement when it's in the. Um, you want to put never seize along here, here, 
and even in this on a ridge where the big where the brake pads slide just so it doesn't cause any too much friction. Now that we put doesn't never see here where the brake pads slide, you want to put the the caliper holder back into place and put the get the holes to line up and tighten the bolt. Peel the backing off and put the pads into place. The next step is to untie the caliper and put it into place. Put the bolts back into place that attach the caliper to the caliper hand. Tighten the last two bolts and pump the brake pedal until the pedal gets hard before driving.